Welcome in everybody to the Western Ontario Super Hockey League Virtual All-Star Game. You the fans decided who your favorite players in the watch are, and now you're going to be able to see them in the virtual world. Best on best, coming up. Let's take a look at who you selected. First, from the east, the forwards. Braden Roberts, Chris Donnelly, and Jamie McQueen were the fan vote. Max Lightfoot, Jacob Miller, Kevin Hu, Mike Rebery, Quinn Van Bokel, Chad Heron, Zach Cameron, and Kyle Vigar, the forwards. A lot of Delhi Flames. Look at Chris Donnelly. Surprise of the year, and the fans have rewarded him with the first all with his first all-star selection. Let's take a look at the defenders. Brendan Barletta and Justin Abraham starting. Spencer McCormick, Mike Giacometti, Jeff White, Mitch Randell, and Todd Ratchford's in there as well. He was the last chance vote. Won that for the East. He's in there. He'll be playing both forward and defense, as he has in the past. The goalies, Matt Sagrat gets the start. The Tilsburg Thunder did very well in the voting. Colin Dunn, the defending champ and the defending top goalie award winner, will be backing him up. The fans really like Matt Sagrat this year, and he's done very well for the Tilsburg Thunder. Let's move over to the West now. Graham Brulot, Vyacheslav Chigrinsev, Dylan Denome, Ray Robbins, Dawson Winchester, Wes Baker, Travis Winkworth, Mike Mandarelli, Mitch Van Teeling, Cameron Welch, Brandon Buck, and Brad Crisco was your last chance All-Star winner. From the West Defense, Matt Fuller, Matt LaBurge get the fan vote nods. Cole Chevalier, Bailey Freifogel, Riley Coombe, and Zach Tierney also representing the West the goalie is Ryan Polidori, no surprise, he's been lights out all year, and Josh Diamond will be backing him up. So those are who you'll see today. You'll see both goalies for both teams at points. The starters will head to the bench at some point in the second period. That'll be up to the coaches to do, and we'll head to the game now. We're in virtual Tilbury. A lot bigger than the normal Tilbury Arena, but hey, maybe in a couple years, if the Tilbury Bluebirds keep playing the way they do, they might have to expand their stadium and we are off Justin Abraham gets the puck and we are getting going here for the virtual all-star game a lot of Tilsonburg Thunder in the starting lineup here got Jay McQueen Braden Roberts Justin Bar or sorry Barletta and Justin Abraham out there Chris Donnelly the one non Tilsonburg Thunder out there for the east from the Delhi Flames he'll be centering this line as for the west it's a pretty even mix of teams. Let's take a look at the starting goalies while we have a sec. And it's Matt Sagrat and Ryan Polidori, as mentioned. Look at those numbers from both of them. Matt Sagrat's been playing less games, but he's been no less of an asset to his team. Ryan Polidori with the Tilbury Bluebirds. The surprise of the year, the expansion team leading the league at press time. Be very interesting to see. What happens with them come playoff time is we get a penalty early. Interference on the near side boards. Dylan Denom of the Tilbury Bluebirds is going to go. I think he got in Chris Donnelly's way. So early in this one, we're going to see a power play. The West looks like they're going to send out Brad Crisco and Brandon Buck. A little bit of a difference in experience there. Brad Crisco, a podcaster who's been having this, the season of his career on the ice. 15 points in 12 games so far. Whereas Brandon Buck uh, doesn't need to be podcasting because he's a former Spengler Cup participant. Played all over Europe. Now back home playing for the Strathroy Jets who are just hitting their stride as we get halfway across the season. Just clinched a playoff spot last weekend. And we're going to send you to Strathroy after this game. As after we're done here, um, we're going to all go over to Sporfy. And we're going to watch the Strathroy Jets take on the Tilsmerk Thunder. Which is a really important game if uh, the Strathroy Jets want to improve their seating. Tilsmerk's one of the teams they'll have to face. Halfway through the power play here. There's a shot stopped by Polidori. Miller out front. Scores! Jacob Miller from the Aaron Blitz. Gets the first goal in Washal All-Star Game history. On the rebound here, Polidori loses it in front of the two Stratford Irish defenders. 
And on the power play, the East are up 1 nothing. So the Aaron Blitz, who are competing for that last playoff spot, they have the weekend off, but they'll be eagerly watching what Alvinston does and Delhi does. Or Delhi also has the weekend off, actually. So they'll be anxiously watching what Alvinston does and Plattsville do. Because that last playoff spot still up for grabs between those teams. Shot stopped. Kicked aside. Matt Sagrat getting into the action now. Brandon Buck. Fuller. LaBurge. Van Teeling. Back to Buck. Shot scores! Brandon Buck! Answers right away! The Strathroy Jet! And there's Barnaby of the Alvinston Killer Bees in the crowd. Listen, I know he's not a B. The game is very limited with what you can do for mascots. But look at this. Brandon Buck. The snipe. Fools Sagrat. Who had a couple of bodies in front of him. And we're tied up. Back and forth, back and forth. If this is how it's going to be. We're in for a treat today. Van Teeling in the neutral zone. Looking to try and make it two on the trot for West. Kyle Vigar of the Delhi Flames with it now. The Delhi Flames. They picked up a lot of local players this season. Picked up a lot of players who maybe don't have the European experience or the pro experience that a lot of these other teams have. But, uh, I mean, familiarity with, the, with your home rink is still an asset in. Some former Delhi travelers, some former uh, provincial junior league players who've played in Delhi against Delhi. I mean, they've shown their worth this season, and Delhi has maybe surprised some teams this year with some wins against Plattsville and Aaron a little bit ago. In the corner, Barletta. Down low. Justin Abraham. Along the wall. Barletta to Rebery. Miller. Miller in the corner, looking for an option. Gets into the slot. Pass wasn't able to be handled. Now Winkworth is going to bring it up. Winkworth to Robbins. Tries to get it back to Winkworth. It's knocked off there by the defender. Queen to Roberts. Roberts on the far side. Sends it in, but he gets run over. And now up with it is Welch. Cameron Welch. On the forehand shot blocked. Cormack in the corner. Robbins. Still digging at it. Now scrolls out to Abraham. Now Miller, Jacob Miller is going to bring it up. Dispossessed by Welch. Dawson Winchester. Killer B to Killer B. Sent long ways. Mike Mandarelli. First time we've seen him this game. Trying to walk in. Dispossessed by McCormack. And here comes McQueen the other way. McQueen's got speed. McQueen on the backhand, tries to go to the forehand. Knocked off Buck Donnelly, the shot, rebound, scores! No, it's waved off. Chris Donnelly was in on it. Takes the shot, gets all over the goalie. And looks like they're going to call a goalie interference on Donnelly for putting a skate up on Polidori's glove. And that is confirmed. Joey Celestin with the call. We've got... A whole host of Washel referees in. Referees and linesmen who have been outstanding all year. Bailey Freifogel. Zach Tierney. Back to Dawson Winchester. Out front. Another chance. Who? What a save by Polidori. 14.58 left to go in the first period. Chad Heron out there with Zach Cameron and Kevin Hu. A lot of speed out there. At the point. McCormick sends it in the zone. Cameron, he shot! Heron gets robbed by Polidori. Winchester over to Crisco. 
Prisco knocked off the puck. Tries to brute force his way forward, but Chad Heron wins that battle. Gets over to Cameron. Cameron into the middle. Cameron to Hugh. Hugh the shot saved by Polidori. Polidori has had to face some high danger chances early in this game. So Ratchford out there, usually a defenseman for Tilsonberg. He's going to play both this game because the West fan voted in him as a defenseman, but they were short one forward, so he's going to play both. Denomi, shot. Behind the net. Brulat. Alongside. Brulat trying to work the puck around, but Giacometti's there. Now Randell to Lightfoot. Lightfoot, as the name indicates, has some speed. Shot! Save, and Brandon Buck comes out with it. He's dangerous, too. We're going back and forth early. McCormick to Lightfoot. Lightfoot shot, deflected, and Bailey Freifogel is able to get there. Wes Baker along the board. It's pinned up there. Lightfoot and Van Bokel trying to work him over. Lightfoot now, the shot blocked. Bailey Freifogel has been the savior this shift for the West from the Alvins the Killer Bees, formerly of the Northern Colorado Eagles. His journey back to Ontario has been fruitful so far as Polidori gloves that one down. 13-20 left in the first period. Welch, Robbins, and Winkworth out there for the West. Good mix there. You got a Killer B, an Irish, and a Bluebird. The West only has four teams, so that's a almost all of them. Welch. Dispossessed by Jeff White. Jeff White, the defender, now bringing it up. Jeff White's hit. One of the older players in this All-Star game, the captain of the Aaron Blitz. He's had a long journey. Briefly played in the Hungarian League. McCormick. I mentioned we have a former Spengler Cup player. We have a player who played in the Hungarian League. That's not the furthest out. Todd Ratchford of the Tilsenburg Thunder playing for the East. He spent time in the Emirati League. That's right, the United Arab Emirates. He played for the team out of Abu Dhabi. A lot of players took long, long journeys to get to the Super League. Now they're here making the most of it. Arletta to who? Who to Cameron? Cameron on the forehand, walking in. He's got some room. Cameron, shot saved by Polidori. Cameron again to who? Who? Dancing around with it. Back to Cameron. Dispossessed by Crisco and cleared out. The fourth line of the West able to get in there and prove that they're still All-Stars. Heron now. Heron. All by himself. One on three. Gets a good shot off of Polidori. Smothers it. A little over halfway, or a little under halfway through the first period. Tied up. Brandon Buck got a stick on it. So did Rebre. Van Teeling, sorry. Van Teeling in there. Gets it. Brandon Buck. Brandon Buck. He's got a shot. It's blocked. Good play there by the defender. Kyle Vagar. Dispossessed. Now Wes Baker. Brandon Buck. Kyle Vagar now. A lot has been made out of the playoff race this year. It's going to come down to the last couple of games. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but what also is probably going to come down the last couple of games is the race for the number one seed. A lot of teams didn't play for that. Rebri the shot! Polidori got a piece of it. Polidori's been busy early. A lot of teams still play for that. The one team that Probably has their seating locked up already as the Strathroy Jets sitting in fifth place, but there's still time and 
their schedule is uh, forgiving enough that they could still make a run at the top seed if all breaks their way. Tilbury Bluebirds in pole position right now by about four points, I believe. But Tilsonburg, Stratford, and Laura all within a point or two. So that'll come down in the last couple weeks. Tilsonburg has the latest game out of the out of that group. They play, I believe, Delhi in Delhi as one of the last games of the season. So that could turn into a really important game for both teams. Coombe gets over Roberts as he's hit. Roberts the shot. Polidori saves that one easily. And now we're halfway through the first. Thank you again to Sleeman and Sleeman Clear 2.0, Sleeman Clear Peach 2.0, and all their products for sponsoring the Western Ontario Super Hockey League and specifically the Western, Su Western Ontario Super Hockey League All Star Game. Sleeman products available at not just every local beer store, but every local Western Ontario Super Hockey League game where licensed. As that goes offside, despite Dylan Denome's best efforts. That was Mike Asaf on the call. Big group of referees and linesmen available for the virtual All-Star game. They'll rotate in and out. Lightfoot. Ratchford. Cameron Welch is able to get there. The West strength that's thus far has been their neutral zone play. Shot save! I didn't expect that clapper from the hash marks. Sagrat makes the save. Chad Heron fights for it in the corner. Chevalier really battling for it. Dawson Winchester has to regroup. Now the West will bring it up. My Mandarelli uses his speed. A little trap breaker. Mandarelli save. Kicked out by Sagrat. Now Spencer McCormick. Chad Heron. Heron stood up by Matt Fuller. How many times have we seen that? Crisco gets on it over to Winchester. And that's picked off by Hugh. And Hugh will dump it in, go for a change. Crisco bringing it up. Crisco. Hey, he didn't expect to be an all-star. He got in on the last chance ballot. He's gonna he's determined to get on the score sheet. Chad Heron. Gets over to Randell. Mitch Randell, one of the few Plattsville Lakers in this game. Now the Lakers, they've had one of the highest roster turnover this year, but they're starting to find their rhythm here late in the season, Nick. Now that they've uh they seem to be done making moves. Hey, if they're the strongest version of themselves right now, they could su surprise some teams in the playoffs. I know a few of the top seeds are rooting for Plattsville right now because they would really prefer to not face them until later on in the playoffs. Randell along the boards. Fight for it. Now Chagrinsev coming out. The Chagrinsev have the shot stopped by Sagrat. Playing it quickly. Chagrinsev again. This was this Randell. Jeff White able to clean up the carnage. The gnome. A lot of Tilbury Bluebirds out there right now. But Miller, the Air, the Aaron Blitz player, dispossesses. We'll bring it up. Odd man gets a shot off anyway. And Polidori has to cover it up. See, it's been pretty even so far after those two early goals. Been silent the rest of this period. Donnelly. To Roberts. Gets to Barletta. Barletta run over. Baker Van Teeling. He'll regroup. Well, Van Teeling, a nice little move. Gets over to Brandon Buck. He's hit. 
Now Jamie McQueen. McQueen out front turned away. Jamie McQueen, the former German League player, former German League star. Saw a lot of glowing reviews and somber farewells from German fans as when Jamie signed with Tilsenberg. Carletta to Roberts. Shot saved by Polidori. Polidori has looked pretty good this game so far. Both goalies have. Whitefoot to Abraham. Abraham chipped it into the zone. Todd Ratchford's a wrecking ball. Whitefoot. Shakes off the vendor, takes a shot himself. Polidori gets a toe on it. Bailey Freifogel. Cameron Welch. Killer B to Killer B. Welch tries to find the pass. It's a really risky pass. It doesn't quite work out. But Winkworth's still after it. Travis Winkworth of Tilbury. Causing a lot of havoc for the East. And here comes Lightfoot. Lightfoot forehand. Backhand shot. Save. Still loose. Ratchford. And Polidori swarms and gets a glove on it. Welch, Miller, shot, turned away. Rebri, Giacometti, Rebri. Tied up. And leaves the zone. Giacometti has to regroup. Comes over to Rebri. Miller. The East have been a bit more aggressive lately. But there's a hammer at the boards. Now Kyle Vigara, the shot stopped. Chevalier is there. Brad Crisco. Crisco lost in the neutral zone. Loses it to Rebery. Rebery coming in. Gets through Chevalier. Back to Rebery. Rebery looking, looking. Shot save. Polidori turns it away. Randell to Giacometti. A little Miller. And that to Vigar. Vigar to Rebery. Back to Randell. Randell walking in. Shot save. I was blocked and then run over. Vigar sends it over to Heron as these try and get changed. Crisco turns it turned it over. Brulot stopped. Brulot and Crisco out there together, stuck on the change. Brulot turned away. Here comes Randell. The shot save. Chad Heron. Kevin Hu. Couldn't get the shot off. Dawson Winchester the other way. Four minutes to go here in the first period. Once again, thank you all for joining us in this first ever Washel virtual all-star game. We hope you stick around and move over to Sporfy after this one. We've got Strathroy Jets taking on the Tilsmark Thunder. That shot's blocked. Roulotte jammed. And Matt Sagrat jumps on it of the Tilsmark Thunder. Ryan Polidori on the other side has looked solid as well. Had a jam-packed weekend of hockey this weekend in addition to Strathroy and Tilsmerk. Tomorrow we got Alvinston and Plattsville kicking us off. A game that could be huge. Both teams in a position to have that six seed after today. And Tilsenberg and Stratford in Tilsenberg. Tilsenberg going on the back-to-back, -back, heading home. Game that could be huge for seeding. Both those teams are within a point of each other right now. And Sunday we got Plattsville, Alora, and Alora fighting for that first seed, and Plattsville fighting for a playoff spot. But Plattsville has played Alora really close this year, close to anyone else. There's a shot out front, stop by Polidori.
Van Bogle, Ratchford, and Lightfoot out there for the East in this offensive zone faceoff. Along the wall. Van Teeling. Van Teeling coming in on the backhand. Needs some help. He's got some now. Now down low to Baker. Baker to Van Teeling. Van Teeling walking out. Nothing doing. Quinn Van Bokel there able to knock it away. Ratchford on the far side. Cuts in. Ratchford. Shot scores. Todd Ratchford. Of the Tilsonberg Thunder. Showing why he was the most outstanding player last year. Takes the outlet pass from Van Bokel and does it the rest himself. Picks the corner. Nothing Ryan Polidori can do about it. What a shot. Now 2-1 to one East. If they can take that into the locker room, that's a good feeling to have. Polidori has to jump on it. That was the last time Ryan Polidori let in two goals in the first period. It's been a while. Tierney to Freifogel. Freifogel back to Tierney. They'll try to break out again. Who is all over him? Kevin Who can't get the shot off. Tierney to Chagrinsev. Red to Nome. That's knocked away. Now Kevin Hu with his speed. Trying to catch the defense flat-footed. He has to break. Heron. Heron the shot. What a save by Polidori. Rebound scores. Kevin Hu. Chad Heron took the shot. And Polidori had to make an absolutely electric save. But Kevin Hu is there to tap in the rebound. And now the East lead it 3-1. to one. And that's a dagger for the West early. They really need to score before the end of the first. In order to keep this momentum from spiraling way out of their control. This puck in the corner picked up by Barletta. Trying to double back. Gets it to Abraham. Abraham to who? Hugh. On the backhand. Cameron shot. Trickles wide. And we got a penalty coming up. Looks like it's going towards the west. Heron to Barletta. To Abraham. Abraham to Cameron. The shot save. And Polidori grabs it. And who's heading to the box? It's going to be for interference. It's going to be Matt LaBurge of the Strathroy Jets. Matt LaBurge. Hey, maybe he can donate some blood while he's in there. So the East, just before the break, have a chance to go up three. Roberts, the shot blocked. Didn't see who that was on the block, but that was a good one. Miller. Tyranny dispossesses, and he'll clear it out. A minute to go here. Roberts with it down low. He's pinned to the wall. Now Cameron to Lightfoot. Minute to do something here on the power play. Miller. Miller on his backhand. Switches to his forehand. Try the shot. Couldn't quite pull the trigger. Tierney. And he'll chip it out into the neutral zone. Ratchford with it now. Back playing defense. Cameron. Loses the puck. Giacometti sends out. Or sorry, that was Mandarelli. Ratchford to Cameron. Cameron is stood up at the line. Lightfoot, though. To Miller. Miller out front. Tried to get it back to Lightfoot. And it's well defended. 15 seconds left here in the period. 50 left on the power play. Ratchford to Cameron. Cameron on the backhand. Looking for in. Tries to deep. Gets to the net. Polidori jumps on it. And they couldn't quite jam it in on the post. Four seconds go in the period. West looking for a quick pullback and shot. 
And they get tied up. Chevalier will just send it out. And that'll do it for the first period. Score after one complete. The East lead it 3-1. to one. We'll be right back here for more Washel Virtual All-Star Game action. Time flies when you're having fun, my friends. My name is Tim Wilson, and I started Mighty x Bite over 20 years ago. Since January 10th, 2000, we've grown into the Mighty Group of Companies, where our core business is moving freight over the border. You know what? We still have customers and carriers from day one. We move one skid to full loads, all kinds of specialized and over-dimensional freight over the border every day. We also have a cube van to provide you with Mighty Critical Service if you're ever in a jam. You'll always get a live voice at Mighty Expedite, and you'll always get a caring team servicing your transportation needs. We've had a few customers leave and chase the low rates, and guess what? They always come back to old trusty Mighty. Stop by Central Command anytime. We would love to meet you. Have a great day, and thanks for listening. This is Tim Wilson of Mighty Expedite. Thank you to Mighty Expedite for being a longtime partner of the Western Ontario Super Hockey League. Also the owner of the Aaron Blitz, who are very represented today in the All-Star Game. So I'm sure Tim is sitting right at that desk right now watching this one. Kevin Hu, Todd Ratchford, Chad Heron, Braden Roberts, Kevin Hu. Lightning quick passing here from the East, trying to get something going on. The power play, McQueen, the shot, stopped by Polidori. The Queen again, the shot! Oh, Polidori! Five alarm fire with the save. And Brandon Buck finally is able to clear it out. And the West are able to kill off Matt LaBurge's penalty. Hugh to Heron. Gets over Roberts. To Hugh. Hugh with some options. Walking in. Hugh knocked off the puck. Hugh again. Shot stopped by Polidori. Rebound. Chagrinsev's in there to knock it away. Fryfogel with the pass. Sends it a long ways to Brulot. Brulot. Battling for it down there. He finally comes out with it. Chagrinsev knocked off the puck. Slava Chagrinsev, the Russian. He's looked very, very good in, on foreign soil. Having a great season for the Bluebirds. Heron, the shot stopped. Winkworth to LaBurge. To Deneau. Send down low to Roberts. Jamie McQueen back out there. And this is a lot of guys' first time being shown in video game form, but... Jay McQueen and Brandon Buck have done that before, playing in the German League and the Swiss League, respectively. Turnover, McQueen off the post! Hit both posts, a double doink from Jamie McQueen up close. But Polidori is able to jump on it. The East, on the strength of their power play, is dominating right now. Only three goals to show for it as of yet, though. Ryan Polidori has looked solid. Chevalier to Winkworth. Winkworth, forehand, backhand, shot, saved by Sagrat, rebound, another save by Sagrat. Sagrat not as busy as Polidori, but has also looked spectacular. Winkworth, Abraham with it now, bringing it up, venturing a little further than he's used to, Justin Abraham, to Kyle Vigar, shot stopped. Vigar, the reverse hit, using his strength, the shot stopped. Chevalier. Backhand, forehand shot stopped by Sagrat. And he'll fall on that one three minutes here into the second period. Both teams' fourth line out here right now. With the last chance All Stars facing off against each other. Crisco wins that one out. French stopped! Mike Mandarelli got absolutely robbed by Matt Sagrat. Ratchford tries to clear it out. It can't. Winchester, the shot, saved by Sagrat. Ratchford again with it. Finally gets it out. This time to Lightfoot. 
Max Lightfoot in all alone. That shot was blocked that time by Chevalier. Coom gets it over to Mandarelli. On his backhand, going back to his forehand, shot stopped. Ratchford picks it up. Mitch Randell. Makes a man miss. Now Randell coming in with it. Got a man in Ratchford. Ratchford, the shot was blocked. Might have hit his own teammate. Freifogel. Freifogel, the shot. Sagrat turns it away. Lightfoot to Ratchford. Turned over now. Baker loses it. Now Jamie McQueen. Picked off. Van Teeling. Baker. Van Teeling the shot. Stopped by Sagrat. Frenetic pace here in the second period. Baker to Buck. Buck. Stopped by Sagrat. Baker again. Knocked away. McQueen finally able to set it a little down a little bit. Lightfoot. Knocked off the puck. That's sent all the way down. No icing. Baker. Finds Berlot coming off the bench. But Randell is able to get it back. Mitch Randell. The Plattsville Laker. Gets the Donnelly the flame. Randell the white. The Donnelly. Knocked off the puck. Matt LaBurge back on the ice. First time since this penalty. The Gnome. The Baker. Baker back to LaBurge. LaBurge. Fuller. The Gnome. Now Jeff White picks it up. Donnelly to Vigar, two Del High Flames. McCormick to Miller, the shot stopped. Mike Rebry to McCormick. The All-Stars putting on a show here. Matt LaBurge bringing it up. Shot goes wide. Jeff White, to Jacob Miller, the two Aaron Blitz players making a connection. Cameron. Back to Barletta. Rebry. Rebry the shot. Deflected wide. Barletta. Abraham. Heron. And run over by two players. Two, two Stratford fighting Irish. Riley Coombe with it now. Coombe on the backhand, moving to his forehand. The shot, save, rebound! Knocked away by Abraham. Chad Heron. Shot was blocked. Cameron now, nothing doing. As we get to halfway in this All-Star game, we're past halfway in the regular season. Five teams have clinched playoff spots so far. Tilbury, Stratford, Tilsonburg, Alora, and Strathroy. Delhi, the odd man out right now, sitting outside the playoffs. But only a couple points out. And that last playoff spot might come down to the final day of the season when Delhi and Aaron will play each other. Shot scores! Ray Robbins of the Stratford Fighting Irish. Robbins, he's got Mandarelli with him. Mandarelli takes Sagrat's eye line off the puck for a split second. And that allows Robbins to lift the puck, get it over the glove of Sagrat, and make this a one goal game. Could that be the turning point here? McQueen. The Donnelly. Donnelly, the shot stopped by Polidori. Tierney, turning with it. Gets over to Mandarelli. Mandarelli all alone will just take a shot and it'll deflect wide. Cormick gets the Donnelly. Brad Crisco gets it to Zach Tierney. 
Graham Berlot, a lot of Stratford Fighting Irish out there. The pass deflected. Oh, no. Jamie McQueen on the breakaway. McQueen stopped by Polidori. Oh, if there's one man on the east, you don't want to give a clean breakaway. It was Jamie McQueen, but Ryan Polidori comes up clutch. And run over. That could be a charge. And it is. Slava Chagrinsev is going to go. That was Josh Ion with the call. Coming in hard on the rush. When the puck was lost, he just never broke his stride and ran through the defender. So Chevalier wins it back. The West have to kill another penalty. Miller to Lightfoot. Back to Cameron. Giacometti, Lightfoot. Poked away. LeBurge is hammered into the boards. And Denome on the far side. Denome to Tierney. Shot. Saved by Sagrat. The West getting some chances shorthanded. Coombe to Tierney. Knocked off the puck. Now here comes Lightfoot. Two on two. Lightfoot the shot. Saved by Polidori. Flashing the leather here. With 11 minutes to go in the second period. Real dangerous unit out here for the East. Kevin Hu, Jamie McQueen, Chad Heron. Three top scores on three of the most deadly offensive units. Ratchford out there as well. Shot scores! Todd Ratchford, his second of the game! The last chance All-Star showing his worth. Todd Ratchford on the power play. Takes the pass from McQueen. And he takes some space and just wires it past Ryan Polidori. So now it's 4-2 for the East. And the West do something right away. They're challenging. But Braden Roberts has it now. Oh, he's stripped of it. Brandon Buck trying to walk in. He's hit off the puck. Both teams playing with a little bit of nerves, a little bit of excitement. Roberts bring it up. He's got some help. He'll take a shot. It's deflected into the corner. Donnelly. Back to Roberts. To McQueen. Knocked off the puck. Fuller sends it long ways. West Baker. Baker drops it for Welch to Fuller. Fuller the shot. Body. About halfway to go here. Halfway through this game. Roberts bringing it up. Roberts takes it. Tries the shot. He's knocked off the puck. Fuller to Welch. To Winkworth. Fuller. Winkworth. In the corner. Fuller. Trying to figure out what he's going to do here. Under siege. But he gets it out to Cameron Welch. Welch shot stopped. And it's Randale with it in the corner. And we're going to get a penalty here. It's going to be holding in the corner. Cameron Welch is going to go. Dwayne Nutt with the call. So the East going back to the power play where they've spent a lot of this game. Again, Hugh McQueen and Heron with Ratchford as a defender. That's extremely deadly. And Spencer McCormick's a nice piece to have out there as well. McQueen in the corner. Gets the G committee to Hugh. Kevin Hugh on the backhand. Looking forehand. Kevin Hugh walking in. The shot stopped. Heron behind the net, to the point, to Hugh. McQueen the shot! Blocked away and cleared out by Tierney. Spencer McCormick in the corner. McQueen kicks over Giacometti. Knocked off the puck. Could be a chance shorthanded. Mitch Van Teeling stopped. Matt Sagrat. 
Looking pretty solid this game. Likely near the end of his time in this game as Josh Diamond will get a chance to work. Shot. Blocked. Brandon Buck sends it out. Josh Diamond and Colin Dunn getting their gear on on the bench. Looks like they're expecting to head out soon. McQueen. Shot. Stopped. Chevalier will clear it out. As the West looking to kill off Cameron Welch's penalty. He's bringing it into the zone. Out front, Coombe knocks it away. And he too will clear it out and it'll actually hit the glass near the bench and go out of play. One back by Tierney, and Tierney will send it out now. Ratchford with it behind the net. Carrying it out himself. Ratchford to Cameron. Out front scores! Max Lightfoot! Is Johnny on the spot? Picks up the rebound, and that's a power play goal. That was just a great play. Ratchford hammering down the left side. Takes the initial shot. There's two more shots that happen. And then finally, Polidori can't handle the third rebound. And Lightfoot's able to put it home. 5-2 to two for the East now. Two of those being power play goals. The shot stopped. Cameron Welch back on the ice after his penalty. Sends it over to Winkworth. To Robbins, Ray Robbins, he's got a goal tonight. Walking in, shot blocked. Zach Cameron now. Cameron on the far side makes a move, gets the puck through, but not his body. Robbins with it. Gets it to Welch. Welch, stutter steps. Got it to Winkworth, and Winkworth was hit. 5-2 for the East here. These are just joining us. This is the Western Ontario Super Hockey League All-Star Game. Miller the shot. Stopped by Polidori. And that'll take us to a quick break. We'll be right back. Approaching intersection. I've found a faster route. Turn right to save 26 seconds. At Domino's, we put pizza over everything. That's why we do everything to make sure you get a hot, great tasting pizza every time. From handcrafting every pizza to fresh ingredients to fast delivery. Domino's, pizza over everything. Welcome back to the virtual all-star game. If you're just joining us, the East in black, represented by members of the teams from the East part of the league. Including the Plattsville Lakers, Delhi Flames, Alora Rocks, and Aaron Blitz. And there's the goalie change. So there's Josh Diamond in there for the West, one representing the Strathroy Jets. And the West represented by Strathroy, Stratford, Tilbury Bluebirds, and Alvinston Killer Bees. I can't remember if I said the Tilsenberg Thunder, but they're on the east. So Josh Diamond put to work early. And the east are have the advantage in basically every stat right now, except for face-offs. The west have them there. Chagrinsev under siege, but he maintains possession. Nice little play there to get it out to Brulot. Brulot there, facing Colin Dunn. And done with his first activity the night makes a stellar glove save. Colin Dunn of the Alora Rocks. Finding his footing right now after not a bad start to the season, but not a Colin not a Colin Dunn start to the season. But has found his footing over the last couple of weeks, and he was selected to the All-Star game. On the back of it. 
I mean, even 50% Cullen Dunn is still a top three goalie in the league, if not top goalie in the league. Last year, the most outstanding goalie in the league. In contention for that award again. Ratchford gets the white. White down low to Lightfoot. Lightfoot back to White. White to Van Bokel. Brandel stepping in. Pass over to Ratchford. Van Bokel the shot blocked. Ratchford picking it up. Gets back to Van Bokel. Ratchford on his backhand. Ratchford the shot stopped by Diamond. No Diamond in the rough. We been knew about Joshua Diamond has been stellar for Strathroy this season. Played for Str played for the Strathroy Rockets in junior. Found his way to the Strathroy Jets here at this level. And has definitely lived up to his billing. Crisco. Pass picked off by McQueen. Queen sent over to McCormick to Donnelly. Chris Donnelly searching for an option. Gets to Roberts. McCormick to White. Donnelly tried the shot. It fly flutters a little wide. Crisco. Hit off the puck. Goes back to Kuhn. Now Mandarelli. Like Mandarelli the shot stopped. Colin Dunn. Pressed in action there. Kevin Hu the shot stopped by Diamond. Chad Heron walking in. Pass up to McQueen. Knocked away. Good defensive work there by the West. Winchester. The Coombe knocked off the puck. Kevin Hu now. With five minutes left in the second period. Shot stopped. Heron with it down low. McQueen. Back to the point. The East passing frenetically here. And the West in a tizzy. But now Ray Robbins has it. Robbins to Winchester. Knocked off the puck. Robbins. On the forehand. Gets to the LaBerge. A front scores! Cameron Welch! The Alvinston Killer B! Was buzzing out front of the net. And he puts that one home. Great passing play there from the West. you think these guys have played together all year. Well, that's three different teams on that goal. Matt LaBerge of Strathroy had the final pass. And Ray Robbins of the Stratford Irish set that whole play up. So great communication from these guys. Rebery bringing in, trying to restore the three-goal lead. Miller, up front to Vigar. Shot stop. Rebound, another save. Vigar, out front again. Another save by Diamond. Miller again. Diamond again with the save. Abraham to Miller. Rebery stop by Diamond. That one a little easier than the last one. LaBerge knocked off the puck. Kyle Vigar. The East are swarming. Vigar. Finally knocked off the puck and the East have to regroup into the neutral zone. McQueen to Roberts. To the point of G. Cometti. Miller the shot stopped by Diamond again. Roberts to the point. Randell. McQueen the shot stopped. Miller again. And now LaBerge trying to clear it out for the West. The West trying to recover from that onslaught. On the far side. Winkworth. Winkworth stepping in. The shot stopped by Don. Rebound. Kicked out. And McQueen now. McQueen waiting for some help. Gets the Donnelly. Donnelly run over. And the two goalies who came in in the second period have looked absolutely stellar so far. Josh Diamond from Strathroy. Colin Dunn from Alora. There they are. Their stats on screen. And, oh, we got a penalty. Looked like a trip. It's another penalty to the West. This one's going to be Dylan DeNome. And the West not happy with this rotation of referees. That one called by Bob Langdon. So Ricky Johnson ready to drop the puck. The officials have... Uh, 
been cracking down. You don't usually see that in an all-star game, but when a trip's that obvious, that's going to be cold. Buck with it. Maybe trying to get something going shorthanded. Can't. There comes Lightfoot. The East have two power play goals so far. Oh, a giveaway. Brulotte coming in now. Shorthanded again. Pinned up against the wall. The man advantage working in East's favor right there. Miller rings it around the wall. Coombe to Tierney. And he'll clear it out. A little bit more clock off of Denomi's penalty. Cormick. Waiting for some help. He'll send it around trying to get it over to a teammate. And he finally does. Miller had it. Lightfoot to Miller. No way. And Berlot backhands it out of the zone. We're under two minutes left here in the second period. Lightfoot on his backhand. He'll chip it in the zone. Chevalier. Buck. Now Berlot killing more time off this power play. Berlot the shot stopped by Dunn. And Dunn jumps on it. And was that a penalty? It was. Interference being called on Mike Giacometti. Ryan Lachine on the call. And that's the first penalty called on the East and I think the whole game. If not, it's been a while. We'll get four on four for 30 seconds, then the West will go on the power play. Kevin Hu, with his speed, he's got some space. Brings in the corner for McQueen. McQueen, a front shot stopped by Diamond. McQueen again. On the backhand this time, sends it back to the point for Randell. McQueen, walking in shot, stopped by Diamond again. Freifogel to Fuller. This could be something here. Odd man rush. On the forehand shot, stopped by Dunn. And with five seconds left on the 404, he'll jump on it. McQueen and who head to the bench there. You saw McQueen on the bench. It's going to be Zach Cameron and Chad Heron. The two Alora rocks out there. Randell and Abraham out there to kill this penalty. And they'll chip it in the zone. Fuller. To Chikrinsev. Chikrinsev tries to get it out front. Nothing doing. LaBurge to Denoma. Front Baker stopped and flew into Dunn. And Randell will clear it out now. 30 seconds left in the period. 50 left in the penalty. A power play goal would be really sweet to take into the locker room. LaBurge. Shot stopped by Dunn. A wire of a slap shot. 20 seconds left in the period. The point, LaBurge to Buck. Buck tries to force it through. Baker to the point to LaBurge. Try to get it down low, and that's cleared out. And that should just about do it for this period. 5-3 to three is the score as the time ticks down. The West will start the third period on the power play. Buck tries to take a last shot, but it's blocked by Revery. We'll be right back. More Western Ontario Super League action. Right after this, 5-3 to three is your score, heading into the third. Slim and Clear 2.0. We're here for those who don't just do things, but who make them 2.0. Those who don't just play, but really go for it. And when they get together, they take it to the next level. Because... Why not make it 2.0? Crisp, light tasting, Sleeming Clear 2.0 has 80 calories and two grams of carbs. Why not make it 2.0? Welcome back. Here in virtual Tilbury, the West trail the East five to three, but they start on a 30 second power play. 
Wes Baker. Dylan Denome, the shot blocked. And Chevalier can't handle the pass and has to regroup in the neutral zone. That might do it for the penalty. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Western Ontario Super Hockey League virtual all-star game. The best players from the real-life Western Ontario Super Hockey League recreated in digital form. Let's see what it looks like when we go best on best. If you're new to the Western Ontario Super Hockey League, the five teams out of the east, the defending champ, Lauren Rock, Alora Rocks, the Tilsonburg Thunder, and the expansion, Aaron Blitz, Plattsville Lakers, and Delhi Flames. Then in the west, you've got the Stratford Fighting Irish, the Al Alvinston Killer Bees, the Strathroy Jets, and then the expansion, Delhi or sorry, Til Tilbury Bluebirds, who have not been playing like an expansion team this year. First place in the league, and with pole position on grabbing the number one seed at the end of the year, which would be really valuable, as they will face the eighth seed, which at this point, likely to be Delhi or Aaron, depending on who grabs that last playoff spot. Well, that's a lot of travel for Tilbury. Sure, they'd rather go to Delhi, but Tilbert Aaron is uh, quite a bit of a trek for both those teams, although I don't think you'll see the Aaron Blitz complaining as long as they have a playoff spot. Denome. Long pass picked off by Donnelly in the neutral zone. Rabry picked off by Chagrinsev now, and Cameron Welch bringing it up. And that's handled by Colin Dunn of the Alora Rocks. You saw Barnaby in there briefly. Mascot of the Albinston Killer Bees. Congratulations, Barnaby, for being the all-star selection of mascots. And that's wired off the bar. Tyranny has to go all the way back to get it. The West down by two would like to make something happen soon. Tyranny backhanded over to Welch. Welch coming into the zone. Finds, scores! Ray Robbins is second of the game. Nifty little saucer pass here from Welch. Finds the target. Robbins makes no mistake and wires it past Dunn. And now suddenly it's a one goal game. So the West now suddenly have all the momentum. After the East have controlled most of this game, it's only one goal deficit now. It's an all-star team for a reason. They've got stars. They've got firepower. They've got offensive firepower. They absolutely could tie this one up at any second. And the East are going to send out a pretty defensive line here. Max Lightfoot with his speed and other than that, you got Todd Ratchford, a defender by trade, playing center. And Quinn Van Bokel, who's been pretty good on both sides of the puck this year for the Delhi Flames. But he can definitely hold his own defensively here, and that's the setup that looks like the East are going for here. Try and slow down the game a little bit and lessen the West momentum. Lightfoot. The speedster on this line. Tries to bring it to the net. Lightfoot. Again with it, light for the shot, stopped by Diamond. Josh Diamond's been stellar since entering the game in the second period. Welch. Decoum. Chevalier. Brad Crisco on the far side will clear it into the zone. McCormick, Van Bokel. Ratchford. Ratchford backhand. Trying to bring it in. Van Bokel the shot, gloved by Diamond. And he'll play it out. Van Bokel with it again. McCormick. Van Bokel. McCormick. Intercepted. Here goes Mike Mandarelli on the breakaway. Mandarelli. Shot. Oh my goodness. He waited to the last possible second to get the shot off. And that led him to running into Colin Dunn. 
Bob Langdon, the ref, was there. Didn't make the call. He's going to call that one fair game. We head back the other way. Brandon Buck gets it over to Wes Baker. Baker bringing it in the zone. Donnelly got dumped it off to McQueen as he was run over. McQueen, the shot. Stopped by Diamond. Donnelly knocked off the puck. Big scramble along the boards. Now Jeff White knocked off the puck. This could be a chance here for the West. Pass over to Buck. Buck the shot. Save. Colin Dunn holding firm. Fifteen thirty-four here left in this one. If you're new to the Western Ontario Super Hockey League, in, in case we go to overtime, the format is you start four on four, then you go to three on three if if nothing's decided, then you go to two on two, then you go to one on one. That's right, no shootouts, but you do go all the way down to a one on one head-to-head -head. shot. Save Kevin, who was in a great position, but couldn't thread the needle. Josh Diamond got to the post. Pushed into the zone. Zach Cameron. And now Chad Heron. Kevin Hu out there with the two Alora Rocks. Who's the puck now? And now Graham Brulot bring it up. Looking to tie this one up. Brulot. To Denome. Shot. Save. Colin Dunn. A dangerous chance. As we get later and later into the season, we enter the final month or so every single point in every regular season game becomes important but it's nice to have a little bit of fun every once in a while and this has been very fun to watch so far although we shift gears from fun to serious after this after this game we'll send you over to the Sporphy network tune in for the Strathroy Jets hosting the Tilsmerk Thunder As those two teams still are slugging it out for playoff positioning. Tilsmerk still having designs on the number one seed. Strathroy not out of that race, but a long way to go. But still really like to move up in the playoff positioning right now. As it stands there in fifth, as there's a scramble out front. As it stands, the Jets are in fifth and not hosting a playoff series. Or not having home ice advantage in a playoff series. They would like to change that. Miller, bringing up on the backhand, two on two, reinforcements on the way, Miller the shot, Diamond gloves it, Fry Fogel to Baker, Brandon Buck with it now, Buck to Van Teeling the shot, stopped, McQueen to Miller, jammed up along the boards, Miller with it now, to G. Cometti, He's knocked off the puck, and now Wes Baker with it now. Back and forth, back and forth, and neither team wanting to give an inch. Chris Donnelly is swarmed, and he'll send it into the zone. Freifogel, the outlet pass. This could be trouble. Waiting for some reinforcements along the wall. But he's stripped of it. Donnelly. Long lead pass to White. Robbins on the far side. On the backhand. Looking for an outlet. Oh, friend! Jeff White able to play pass protect there. Robbins sends it over. Robbins. Shot! Got a lot of time to work. Took a clean shot, but Dunn was there. Ratchford. Gets the light foot. Light foot the shot stopped. Ratchford again. Shot stopped by Diamond, who will jump on it and actually play it out. Dacoom, Winkworth. Bouncing puck. Ratchford with it now.
It's a gnome with it. He's got some help. Out front. Robbins, the shot stop. Rebound to gnome! Ties the game for the West! What a huge goal here midway through the third period. There was nothing Colin Dunn could do about that. Once that rebound came out, it was a wide open net for Dylan Denomi. And made no mistake there. On a breakaway here, Chagrinsev. Chagrinsev poked away by Dunn. Still loose and Abraham able to clear it out. Now suddenly, after all the drama, this game is tied. Heron. Out to who? Who the shot stop? Rebound! Cameron hit the post! Oh, that could have been deadly! And a penalty coming up again to the West. Now Trevor Lamb getting into the mix. Making his first call of the night, and that'll be an interference on Cole Chevalier. So we head back into the zone, the east, with a great chance here. Waiting for Ricky Johnson to drop the puck. One back to McCormick, to Cameron. Cameron the shot, deflected, and heads into the glass. This is a big, big chance here for the East. Giacometti over to Lightfoot. Knocked off the puck. Mandarelli. Could be a chance here shorthanded. Mandarelli looking for some help. If nothing else, he's killed a lot of time off this penalty. Finally, McCormack frees it from Mandarelli. And the East looking to try and set something up here. Oh no, picked off. Van Teeling with it now. LaBurge longly past the Fuller. Now McQueen to Heron. McQueen the shot stopped. That was a great opportunity there for the East. Heron shot another one saved. And fired out of the zone. The East coaching staff once again going with that power play unit of Heron, McQueen, and Who. That's fired out of the zone. Kometi to Heron. Heron. Looking for some help trying to deke into the, in the middle of the net. Graham Brulot is there and he'll fire it out that time. Kevin Hu on the backhand. Kevin Hu walking in. Gets the Miller. Jacob Miller run over. Chad Heron again. The queen went off. You got Jacob Miller out there now. And that's stopped by Diamond and covered up. 12 seconds to go in this power play. <laughs> Back. 12 seconds left in the power play here. The East sending out Jacob Miller, Zach Cameron, and Max Lightfoot to try and get this over the line, but they cannot. Brandon Buck takes it out, and he'll skate around, trying to kill off the last couple of seconds, and now he'll backhand it into the zone. Roberts picks it up, but that'll do it for the power play. Miller, shot, loose puck. Tierney trying to clear it out. Now Cameron Welch on the backhand. Pass over. Mandarelli had a chance. No. Chris Donnelly out there now for Delhi. He doesn't quite have the speed of the players around him, but he dumps it off to Lightfoot. Donnelly. Off the boards. Diamond jumps on it. And that'll be covered up. 
8.54 remaining here in the third period. Josh Diamond has been busy since he entered the game in the second period. Robbins sends it over to Welch. Slap shot and Cullen Dunn makes the save. Arletta brings it into the zone. McQueen there with him. Shot stopped by Diamond. As we get late into the season, we saw Chris Donnelly and Max Lightfoot out there a second ago. They're competing for that last playoff spot. Three playoff spots available among these teams. You see their remaining schedule. That's uh, a lot of variance there. Out front, Donnelly scores! Chris Donnelly! Late in this one! Gives the East the lead! Just as we were talking about the Delhi Flames, Chris Donnelly, who's been a big part of their offense, pounces on the puck out front. And with eight minutes left in the third period, that's a big, big goal here as the East take the lead. So you're probably going to see the West playing with a bit more urgency soon. But the East have the players to defend rushes and then jump on any sort of counterattack. Rulot up front. Bouncing puck. Squirrels wide. Colin Dunn thread that one the whole way, and that's cleared out. And that's going to be an icing. Mike Pear there with the icing call. Ryan Bolio backing him up. And they'll switch out. So that's John Abel dropping the puck now. Fry Fogel to Tierney. Brulat, the shot stopped. Abraham with it now. Gets over to McQueen. Trying to put this game away. Back to Roberts. The shot stopped by Diamond. Fry Fogel. Gets it over. Seven minutes to go here in the third period. The East have looked like the stronger team all game, but the West have kept it close, and they're only a goal away from tying this one up. Denome the shot stopped. Bouncing puck up front. Denome again. Bouncing puck goes above Cullen Dunn. Random puck down low. Wes Baker. The two Strathroy Jet teammates. Up to Tierney. Back to Baker. Denome. At the point. Scores! Dylan Denome again! Snipe from the slot! See, you can't give him even that little bit of room. Justin Abraham took his time closing him out. Went for the shot block instead of taking the body. And that little bit of hesitation gave Denome enough time to tie this game up. So now, you're late in the third. We got a tie game. Shot goes wide. Both teams have looked equally deadly offensively. The East have controlled possession quite a bit more, but the West, when they get when they get possession and when they have a chance, they've got a lot of shooters on that team that can beat any goalie in this league. Miller to the point. LaBurge walking in. It got tied up with Reverie. Sent back down low. LaBurge takes the hit from Reverie. And the East have possession now. Reverie. Take it on the far side. He's going to send it into the zone and head for a change. LaBurge with it. D to D. 
It's up along the boards. Chad Heron gets over to Reberry, who actually stayed on the ice. Reberry to Cameron. That was a good opportunity. Jeff White. Spencer McCormick, the shot stopped by Diamond. Josh Diamond. Even though the goalies only played half a game each, Josh Diamond has looked absolutely stellar. One back by Coombe. Kevin Hu. Mike Mandarelli in there. Got it back to Coombe. Long pass over to Dawson Winchester. Winchester, the Alvinston Killer B. Looking to make a difference here. Winchester walking in. Mandarelli, the shot stopped. White to Van Bokel. Gets into White. White tried the pass to Ratchford. That's turned over. Slava Chagrinsev bring it up. Chagrinsev, the shot stopped. Now Max Lightfoot. Pass over to Van Teeling. Dylan Deneau. Graham Berlot. Chagrinsev had a great opportunity there, but it went wide. And we're down to 420 here left in the third. We're still tied up. Once again, if we do go to overtime, we start four on four, go down to three on three. If that doesn't solve it, then we go to two on two. If that doesn't solve it, then we go to one on one until a winner. No shootouts in the Super League. But you could get a one on one showdown. Which I think is more exciting than a shootout. So I'm not rooting for a tie because I'm not rooting for anything. I'm unbiased. But hey, in the All Star game, seeing a one on one showdown, that's hard to pass up. Chris Donnelly. Up along the boards to Braden Roberts. Roberts venturing a little far out from the blue line. Waiting for some help and he'll chip it in the zone. McQueen in there after it. And here comes Chagrinsev. Chagrinsev run over at the blue line. What a hit there. As the East looking to reassert themselves physically. Here it's tied up. The East have looked stronger the whole game, but the West have stayed with them lately. The comeback in the third period has been immense. And with the tie game, West looking to maintain momentum. And tealing the shot stopped by Dunn. 2.53 left in the third now. Justin Abraham, you saw his Rushing hit on Slava Chagrinsev at the blue line. Tilsenberg and Tilbury, that, that could be an interesting matchup come playoff time. Later on in the rounds if both teams advance. Kevin Hu. Bring it up on the far side. Kevin Hu bring it in the zone. Tried to deke through Fuller's legs. Didn't happen that time. Welch to Fuller. Could this be it? Travis Winkworth. Winkworth, the shot stopped by Dunn. Little over two minutes left. Yeah, and that was a crushing hit in the neutral zone. Could be a chance for the East. Shot stop. Rebound. Oh, Chad Heron. Clutch to clear that one away. Zach Cameron with two minutes to go. The shot, diamond into the chest. Colin Dunn has had to come up big here late in this one. Coombe, the Buck. Buck goes the long way to Van Teeling, who's going to double back. He didn't like what he saw. And now he's on a pressure giveaway. Mike Rebery now. Rebery to Miller. Knocked off the puck. Buck to Chevalier. Chevalier waiting for some help. Gets it to the forwards, streaking. But Van Teeling couldn't do anything with it. Baker, Van Teeling, both knocked off the puck. Jacob Miller, Spencer McCormick now. Giveaway, that's Brandon Buck now. Buck 
Van Teeling the shot stop by Dunn. A minute 28 here left in the third period. And the coaching staffs of both teams are starting to think about who they might want in their overtime lineups. Abraham. Dumps it off to Chris Donnelly. Roberts. Roberts has got McQueen with him. Roberts, the shot stopped by Diamond. Just over a minute left to go in this one. Roberts. McQueen. Back to the point to Barletta. Back to McQueen. McQueen to Roberts. The shot deflected. McQueen with the down low. Back to the point. Barletta. Roberts. Barletta. Back to McQueen. Picked off. Here come the West. Riley Coombe to Mike Mandarelli. Stood up at the blue line, but he gets it into the zone. Abraham. Gets the Donnelly. Chris Donnelly. The shot scores Chris Donnelly! Surprises Diamond! And snipes it short side! Look at that shot! Chris Donnelly of the Del High Flames! Might have just won this game for the East. Broken. I think everyone in the building thought he was looking for the pass there to Jamie McQueen or Braden Roberts or any of his star teammates. But he calls his own number, takes that shot short side. And now... The West only have 20 seconds. They don't have the puck right now. Ratchford's run over. Slava Chagrinsev. This is who you want out here. Graham Brulot. Brulot. Chagrinsev the shot. Stop by Dunn. With the glove. 10 seconds. Sorry, 11 seconds to go. And the West are going to go with Cam Welch, Ray Robbins, and Travis Winkworth to try and make this happen. One back. Tierney the shot. Deflected. Eight seconds to go. Robbins. Back to the point. They're going to try it again. Tierney. Down a little. Winkworth. Winkworth. He's got no time. Off the post. And that'll do it. The Eastern All-Stars are victorious. Colin Dunn was fantastic. I mean, hats off to everyone on this East team. Chris Donnelly, who was playing with two guys who have much more experience than him. But he has the confidence. He called his own number. Got the winning goal, but I mean, Dylan Denome was fantastic. A lot of great players here in this game. It's here. Everyone thinks he's looking for the pass. The defensemen both cover the pass. Chris Donnelly. We'll be right back for more thoughts right after this. Every bottle of Sleeman has a pass. A shady pass. When well, Prohibition hit the U.S., opportunity knocked for Sleeman. They made a fortune smuggling beer into illicit joints. Off the beaten path and outside the law, it was a good racket. Except when it came to last call. It's, it's a pass we refuse to cover up. Because it's true. And like the beer it brought, it's notoriously good. Welcome back to the Western Ontario Super Hockey League. Uh, fantastic game. Final score, 7-6 to six for the East. Chris Donnelly, the surprise, uh, is going to be the MVP of this one. Called his own number late, scored the winning goal in the dying seconds. I mean, what a fantastic game. I mean, still a lot of stars. Everyone played fantastic. I mean, everyone's been playing fantastic. That's why they're all stars. Uh, we've got a fantastic weekend of action for you this weekend. Uh, get out to a game if you're in the area. If not... Watch us on Sporfy. Uh, after tonight, we've got Alvinston hosting Plattsville. That game is big for playoffs implications. Tilsonburg and Stratford. Those teams are virtually tied right now, looking to try and improve their playoff positioning. Uh, Plattsville and Alora uh, on Sunday is also going to be amazing. But right now, we're going to send you over to the Gemini Sportsplex in Strathroy, Ontario. Strathroy Jets take on the Tilsonburg Thunder. Go to Sporfy, the app. Or go to washhl.com. That's W S O S H L.com for more information to watch the Stratford Jets take on the Tilsmirk Thunder. For all of us here at the Western Ontario Super Hockey League.